Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to be testing the Hobbywing Quick Run 150 BL. Um, this is not um, a Mojave EXB. This is like uh, this is my fire team, but it has become half. It's become hybrid hybrid EXB. It's got the EXB arms on it. It's got new shock, uh, new center brace, new chassis brace mounts here. Um, but I wanted to test. I got this because I wanted to compare the Quick Run WP8BL150 um, and the 4274 motor. I wanted to compare it to the Surpass Hobby 160 amp. Yeah, so there's $10 difference between these two sets. And um, I want to see what that $10, is it worth it for the slightly longer cam motor on the Surpass Hobby and the 10 amps extra? Do you get any performance gain noticeably? Um, they're both about 100 I think this is $100 for me for the set, 110 for the Surpass Hobby one. So I've got the GPS hooked up and we are just gonna speed run it. Let's just speed run it for now and then I'll get both of these cars out together um, for a direct comparison. Okay guys, so the GPS is hooking. I can tell you straight away, it does not feel as punchy as that uh, Hobby. ESC. Um, that's just anecdotal, right? It's not an actual test result, but this definitely is not as punchy. I have got them both just running on their standard settings. I have got a card for both and I can turn the punch up. But this for sure does not feel as powerful. I've got a slightly small opinion on this. It's a slightly higher KV motor. I'll post those stats on the video. But I tell you right now, the past hobby is better to my feeling. That longer cam motor, that more torque, this is lacking in torque to feel it. Now I have got the Surpass Hobby one with me. I might actually break it out of the box. That's gotta be top speed. Let's just uh, run it back one more time. Fresh pack, Venom Lipos. Only 45C. I am running on a different LiPo pack actually to last time. So um, there is a slight anomaly there. Okay, let's bring it in and let's see. <laughs> it still is, listen, it's not bad. It still drives me. It's still cool. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Is it as good as the other one? Mm. So guys, that is uh, 44 miles an hour. Slightly small opinion. So we're getting about the same speeds. It just does not feel as good as the Surpass Hobby um, ESC. Let's try and give it a little around. I'm running the radio link radio in it. Oh, pebble dash. Still nice. I might put this in the Cretan. But definitely doesn't feel like it accelerates as much. Let me break out the other Mojave. Okay guys, so this is the surpassed hobby Mojave. And I just want to just validate for myself what I'm saying because I just felt now this battery pack also is is like half done. Um, but validate for myself what I'm saying about it feels torquier and feels more powerful. Uh, yeah, 100%. It's got more uh, more takeoff, more acceleration. And this battery pack is half. And it's, I think it's nearly finished. I had it in the MX-07 earlier. Definitely a torquier beast. That 10 amps, you can feel it. That extra two centimeters on the motor. 
definitely makes it strong. Definitely changing the experience. Positively. So I'm, for me, just quick test. So yeah guys, just to validate it for me, the, the Vitavon car is the Hobby Wing quick run car and the Mojave is the um, Surpass Hobby. And uh, the Hobby Wing is still nice, $100 system, cheap. But it's just not as torquey. You can feel that torque difference and that transfers to acceleration. And that's it. And it's still quick. Like you saw, it's doing 44 mile an hour, the other one doing 47. Still a blast. But um, if I had to, if you held a gun to my head and say choose one, it's a pass hobby one. Durability wise. Now, the other thing I would say is when it came to setting the endpoints on the hobby wing, it was dead easy, it worked straight away. When I came to try and set the endpoints on the surpass hobby following the instructions, it didn't let me set, set the endpoints or I was doing it wrong. But so user friendly wise, the hobby wing quick run, as you would expect. Um, but in terms of its actual power, the combo, the slightly lower KV motor, um, yeah, it's a bit of a monster in comparison. This still feels good, so I'm not like hated on the hobby wing. Still feels nice, it's just it's not obviously it doesn't feel like it has that same punch as the Surpass Hobby. I've got a full pack here, so I'm going to have a little blast around with this car. I can smell burning. I don't know if it's the car or the roof of something else. Just turn the gyro off. Some big rocks here, guys. What a cool, what a cool car. So the fire team Mojave is still nice handling. I might get another Surpass Hobby uh, PSC for it for 100 bucks. Same thing. Just going to do the same thing with this uh, Surpass Hobby. Obviously here we've got limited selective room for this. Is that having an effect on my impression? I've got the gyro in this and I've not turned it off. I'm not sure exactly how to. That's the past hobby for you. I'm not touching the uh, steering. <laughs> that was wicked. So just give this a blast around and I am going to give it a little temperature check. Come by, come by. 
Fly Sky Controller, the FS7P G, I don't know. FS7GP, I don't know. The steering wheel on it is so nice and spun. And the throttle feels good. That was disrespectful. Ooh. That is the uh, LVC, this battery was low. Good parking, sir. So I don't think we're gonna have any uh, crazy temperatures here uh, because it was only five minutes. Yeah, so nothing there. Uh, it's ambient, but it's 40 degrees in America. It is uh, just under 100. Motor. 110 so temperatures are good but it was only a very you saw it was a very quick blast so a hundred dollars for this 150 amp hobby wing and a 4274 motor or a hundred and ten dollars for the 160 amp surpass hobby and the 4292 motor um and initial, my initial thoughts, just from a little quick blast, is that um, it's worth paying extra ten dollars for the surpass hobby one. The motor is torquier. Um, I was getting there. Uh, it just feels punchier on basic settings. I haven't turned on the punch on either. It has an automatic switch off on this one after two minutes. I don't know whether that's a good thing or not, or five minutes maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's surpass hobby for me. And I've listened, I've got a Max 5 G2, I've got a Max 6 G2, I've got a WP150, a WP160, everything else I've got is Hobby Wing. But I have to say, in this case, um, Surpass Hobby for me is the winner. And also, guys, I don't know if it's cold, but uh, and it doesn't run, but I'm sure the fan's supposed to be on. Fan's broken on the first run. I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's my fan, it's toast. First run. So there you have it guys, Surpass Hobby is the winner for me. Um, yeah, fan is broken here I think. Maybe that's why we tempt out. ESC is hot. Batteries are cold. So, first run, Surpass winner. Whereas the fan on the Surpass Hobby is uh, fine, although a little bit noisy. <laughs> 